Hello, it's time for another Watch It Wednesday video and I wanted to share this cute little project with you. It's actually a little box and when you open it up, um, for myself, you could put anything inside, but I chose to put some matching gift tags that go with the outside of the box. Okay, so it's quite, um, I wouldn't say it's a complicated project, but there's quite a few steps to it. So let's get started. I'm using this stamp set called No Bones About It. It's just so cute. I bought it because I liked it. That was actually the only reason. It's not like my son is into dinosaurs or anything, but I just thought it was such a cute set. So I grabbed it and I started playing and I cut this piece of square Whisper White cardstock at two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And why don't we take the Cucumber Crush ink pad, open that up, and I'm going to stamp, I think this is a brontosaurus. I'm going to stamp the brontosaurus image onto it. And it doesn't quite fit, but I'm just gonna make sure that the head gets on there, even if the tail doesn't. And I find with the photopolymer stamps that it really works better to have the paper piercing mat underneath. So then I get that nice clean image. Okay, and then let's dress up our dinosaur. The great thing about this set is that it's got so many different complementary images. So I'm going to use the little birthday hat. And with photopolymer, you can kind of see right through where it's going. And then we'll have a sentiment, have a dinorific birthday. Stamp that on there. And then we'll use a little bit of matching cucumber crush cardstock. And I'm going to use the Stampin' Up! fringe scissors to create some fun grass. These scissors are super fun. And just like that, we've got some fun grass and I'll use my snail to stick that down. Okay, and I just thought with the colors, it would be nice to just have a little bit of the Blackberry Bliss showing. So I'm using a piece of the Bohemian Designer Series paper. So let's put some of the snail on that. Actually, the strip is a little bit long, so I'm just going to trim it here at this end. Okay, there we go. And then we'll mount that. I love it how everything matches. We've got the Blackberry Bliss ink, and then we'll mount it onto the Blackberry Bliss cardstock. There we go. Cute. Okay, and then let me show you how to do the box. I'll hold this up a little bit so you can see how fast and easy that came together, our little brontosaurus. Okay, so let's do our box. And the box was also very easy. I'm using the gift box punch board. Gift box punch board. You can just get it through Stamping Up through my online store. Let me show you how easy it is. Right here at the bottom of the punch board, it gives all kinds of measurements. Okay, depending on the size of the box you want. So I've decided that I want a um, this box right here. So it tells me to cut my paper at 8 by 8 which I have done. I'm using the Tip Top Taupe color. Okay, and I've cut it at 8 by 8 Let me clear off a little space here so you can see what's going on. Okay, so I've cut the Tip Top Taupe paper at 8 by 8 And then what I'm going to do is take one edge and line it up with the large line. I'll hold this up so that you can see. There's a line here with the L. I'm just making sure that it's lined up. I'm also making sure the edge is butt up against this this um, border here. Okay, and then I'm going to make three lines using the scoring tool that comes with the board. It's actually really handy so you don't lose your scoring tool. It actually stores right there on the end. Just pull it out and you're going to make three score lines. One here at the S mark, another one going across horizontally. There's actually a groove mark. I don't know if you can see it there. Can you see how there's a bit of a groove there? This groove goes all the way across so I'll make a score line going horizontally and then there's also a groove line here which is the vertical one which goes right into here. Okay, so you need to make three score lines and then punch. So I'll do that now. Okay, so 
one, two, and three, and punch. And then rotate 90 degrees. Do exactly the same thing. Line it up with the L line. And then do the three scores. Horizontal, vertical, diagonal, punch. Rotate 90 degrees, match it up with the L, and we'll do horizontal score line, a vertical score line, and a diagonal score line, and punch. And rotate 90 degrees, same thing. Horizontal score line, vertical score line, and diagonal score line, and punch. Okay, so can you see you've got all these kind of crisscross score lines going? Now all I'm going to do is flip the cardstock over, line it up with the L line, and punch. It just gives the extra notch that we need. I'm sure Stamping Up probably has a video on how to use the gift box punch board, but since we needed it today, I quickly pulled it out for you. Okay, so now we have all the punches and the score lines that we need. If you ever wonder how to use this, you're thinking to yourself, you're never going to remember all the steps, don't worry. They are written right on the punch board. So it tells you what to do, and then when you look at these instructions or the size of the box you want, it tells you which start line to use and which diagonal line you'll need to use. Okay, so that, but I have to show you the best part about this punch board, is in this side, this end, I'm going to stick the corner of the paper and we'll punch. And it actually just makes little notches here. Wow, my hands are very inky today. We had Kids Can Craft Camp this morning and this was one of the projects we did and there was a lot of Blackberry Bliss ink going all over the place today. Okay, so we've got these great notches. So let me show you now. Move these little pieces out of the way. Okay, so I am just gonna burnish these folds here using the bone folder. Okay, so anywhere there is a fold line, I'm just gonna fold. There's quite a few fold lines here, but you'll see it is really easy. Gosh, I hope I'm staying on the camera here. Okay. Okay. And then we also need to score these ones. Okay, and then we've also got these diagonal score lines, so we can kind of push these in. Okay, so can you see how it's coming together, the box? Oh, let's fold this one in. Okay. So the gift box punch board does all different sizes and shapes of boxes. And then these little notches here fit together to close the box. Let's see if I can get you to see the notches. There's these notches. And they kind of are, I don't know, they kind of buddy together. Maybe I can show you. There you go. They kind of buddy together to notch together. And they'll also notch together on this side. So then you'll have the whole box. I'm not gonna close it now because we're gonna put the tags inside. And then we can also, there's the bottom of the box or the top, depending on the way you look at it. Just take some stamping dimensionals and we'll stick that on. Okay, so let me grab the dimensionals and stick those on. Stamping dimensionals are the best. They just add a little bit of texture and you got so many in a pack. It's a lot of fun. Okay, there you go. So, but we can't leave it like that because we want to put something inside the box. So I thought it would be fun to just make matching little gift tags that you could put inside the box. So let me show you how I did the gift tags. I actually used Stamping Up's note tag punch. This is the note tag punch. Just took some Whisper white paper and punched out, you know, or gift tags or whatever. You could just punch out as many as you want. And then I use the Delightful Dijon ink and took the, I don't know, what is this? Oh, Triceratops. I think it's a Triceratops. 
And again, with the photopolymer stamps, I find it really helpful to use the paper piercing mat underneath. And I find the Delightful Dijon is a bit dark for what I wanted today, so I just stamped off. And then I take the second generation of it right there. So it's just a little lighter. Got that fun Triceratops. And then we'll use the Blackberry Bliss ink and use this sentiment, which I love because it's so cute. It says, "Rar means you're awesome in dinosaur. Don't you just want to say that to someone? You're awesome. But you may as well say it in dinosaur language if you're giving a dinosaur gift. Okay, so you can just see the Triceratops hiding behind the back and the fun sentiment. And we'll just put a hole with the stamping up hole puncher here and use our white baker's twine. And how I do to kind of make the, the little ribbon at the top is I just fold the baker's twine in half. I don't know if you can see that there. And then I feed one end through the hole. So this is actually the folded end. I don't really think it matters that much. And then you take the two uh, loose ends and you actually feed it through the loop of the baker's twine. Pull it together. There you go. Okay, so then you've got a bunch of tags that you can stick inside your box. And that is it. Let me close off this box here. I'll put the tag inside. You could do five, you could do ten little tags. You could even put little treats inside. And then you'll just match up these notches here. Oh, I think I'm off the camera. Whoops, whoops. We'll just match up these notches. Hopefully you can kind of see how those notches fit together. Okay, there you go. Your box is all closed. You've got it all decorated and it's perfect for a little gift for anybody. How fun. Thanks for watching. If there's anything that catches your eye, um, feel free to go to my online store, www.genevieve.stampinup.net and you can see my class schedule and if you're interested in shopping, I think there's a little shop button and of course you can contact me for any questions. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.